Fly a fair nation. Fly a fair nation. Thank you for tuning into the Pointless Talks podcast. Tonight we're here with Shadow. Hola. Hi. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone that's listening live. Thank you for tuning in. Um, to everyone that's been listening on Instagram or watching live and Snapchat and all the other things that I've been posting today. Thank you for everyone that's liked and commented and all this fun stuff. Um, I know y'all are here to listen to some slackness. <laughs> but before we get into that, I want to touch on the school shooting that happened today. Um, you heard about that, right? Yes, it was very sad. Yes, it is. Um, it's sparking a conversation that keeps coming up on the subject of whether or not teachers should be, um, I about to say harmed. <laughs> teachers <laughs> should be armed, um, while in school, which I don't think is a good idea <laughs> at all. Someone, it's not funny, but someone posted something and said, uh, what was it that you should, like, they think about the wages that teachers get paid one day and, <laughs> and how the children are disrespectful and then it's gonna be like hmm teacher issued nine millimeter this sounds yeah. like a good day like come on son yeah, and when he's upset what he if he shoots up the school what are you gonna say now principals exactly because it wasn't apparently it wasn't a student it's a former student that came in and shot up the school yeah this he was time. expelled i believe whatever the issue is but this happens it's what did i say someone said it's the 17th or the 18th this year it's just Actually, the second it's week the 29th of- this year class. since the year started <laughs> which is sad we are two weeks into february just hit this is the 14th this just hit two weeks into february like oh excuse me i don't know what's going on with that um i'm the conversation keeps coming up about that and then i'm like okay gun laws nobody wants to talk about that nobody wants to get rid of you know the right to bear arms and all that True. but my other thing is the schools i went to had security I feel like if they get security that has guns, that's one thing. But mm-hmm. I'm thinking metal detectors because there are some schools that do have metal detectors. That's true. And I think that's something that needs to actually go into full effect in all schools now because um, – and I feel like if you're like – I wouldn't say a troubled kid, mm-hmm. but definitely keep more eye on that kid, especially one that's being bullied mm-hmm. or is causing the most problems. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying go around check their bags every day, yeah. but um, random checkup keep an mm-hmm. eye on them like it's a these are kids that people are always like oh he was always so quiet he was and it's like y'all noticed something so y'all noticed something like it's not he had guns on his instagram like <laughs> guns and knives posted on his instagram you're telling me like no one want not even his parents was like oh like where why do you have so many guns in my house yeah that's that's crazy but i mean like i said my thing is i feel like if they're gonna do it instead of bringing more guns into the school like arming teachers and arming security guards or whatever the case is if anything i'll be more comfortable with the security guards but like i said how many times cops get their own gun taken from them so i'm talking about That's security true. guards no if anything metal detector would be like the first step so it's like i remember when i was younger someone said something about their school having a metal detector and i was like what kind of school you go to <laughs> and now i'm like damn sh- we need that now <laughs> you know what i'm saying so uh, it's sad, but unfortunately, it's the world we live in. So that's that. Um, on to another heavy subject <laughs> before we get to the fun stuff. Um, last week was National Black HIV Awareness Day. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's Valentine's Day, so talk about that stuff. <laughs> I hope everybody um, got tested. I, I hope everyone gets tested. I hope everyone gets tested regularly if you're having regular sex. Without and a condom. Even especially. if you are using a condom. If, if you're not, you definitely need <laughs> to go get tested. Or dental dams or whatever it is that you use or don't use, you know, get tested. It's for your own safety. It's for your own knowledge, your own benefit. Like, even if you don't care. Th- and the thing about it, I've realized, too, some people, if they're in a relationship, one person will get tested and be like, oh, if they're fine, then I'm fine, too. Yeah, bullshit. No, because some things lay dormant or mm-hmm. whatever the case is. And someone might have contracted something before and it might show up faster for them. And you might be like, oh, they're fine. No, go. Uh-huh. Make sure anyway, you're OK. You get swabbed. That's why it says, exactly, know <laughs> your status. Nah, I get the blood pulled. I ain't talking about no swab. Oh, yes. I'm talking about for real, I for get real. everything. I get everything. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I don't play that. Like <laughs> Every time I go somewhere that has like one of the little trucks, I'll be like, hey. Come, come, come. <laughs> let me, let me Draw go. my blood, please. <laughs> Shoot. I want to make sure I'm all right. Exactly. You know, just pull a little bit. I hate needles, but I'll do it. I but, like needles. I don't know why. It, but you like it? Yeah, I like the feeling of it. 
I like tattoos and like piercings, but like doctor stuff, like mm-mm. getting I mean, shots and getting. But oh, I think gosh. I'm used to it because I used to get like I used to donate plasma. So I don't know. oh no, mm-mm. no no no. <laughs> but <laughs> back to that, you know, it's like and you know, considering it's a podcast talking about LGBTQ and all that stuff, I was listening to something the other day. It's saying that the CDC says that um, what is it? It's yeah, black people actually, yeah, mm-hmm. black men who have sex with men Mm -hmm. and black women are at the highest risk for contracting hiv and aids so you think about that and it's like it's not necessarily what are we doing wrong but what are we like we can it can be prevented you know what I'm saying? So many people go undetected or go untested. And some of the things, it's not even just AIDS. People are so afraid, oh, I'm going to catch AIDS, whatever. There's so many other things. It's the STIs. Side. Like, it's, AIDS is not it's, your only um, problem. A, <laughs> it's a mutation. There's so many different levels to it. So there's things that are curable that if you get tested, guess what? You no longer have it if you do. So just get, get tested. Get, get the get injection tested. and call it a day. Exactly. You know, go get the antibiotics or whatever it is they prescribe you, the things that are curable, the things that aren't. And <laughs> someone's talking about, of course, you know, the subject comes up, talk about Magic Johnson and how he no longer has AIDS and all these things. You got money. Okay. <laughs> exactly. For so, the research. You know, it's possible, though. So mm-hmm. whatever the case is, there are options, you know. Keep like, hope alive. Some of y'all got scammer money, so y'all can y- y'all can get it figured out, <laughs> you know, <laughs> get it figured out. So just take care of yourselves, you know. Just make sure you get tested. Take care of yourself. Wear protection. Uh, they give free condoms. Please just take some. They do. Some of y'all wear straps. Put condoms <laughs> on your straps if you're using them with multiple women. <laughs> you know, clean your toys. Please. All these things are important <laughs> that you should do, but. I don't know. You get caught up in the moment and, and you fall asleep ew, and say, toys. "That's it. nasty," you know. <laughs> <laughs> but since we, <laughs> but you know, they're uh, uh, uh. <laughs> leave that one alone. <laughs> Make sure you wash them. Yeah, you know, get some toy cleaner. Don't use regular soap. Yeah, you know, all this fun stuff. You know, deteriorate your toys and things. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm so immature. I've been drinking, but um, I've been drinking. Uh-huh. I've been drinking. I heard that song today. Yes, we did. We're not gonna talk about it. We're not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, on the subject of you know cleaning toys and things, we're gonna talk about um first topic. Have you heard the myth about you know lesbian bed sex? Where it's just myth that when lesbians get into a relationship all the hot sweaty sex they used to have when it was just a smash and pass just dies really (laughs) yeah it's i don't know personally because all the lesbian relationships i've been well i've only been in one that lasted more than three months wow so (laughs) well consistently anyways so you know uh, but i've heard this and i've seen it in multiple relationships where i'm like Dang. But I kind of feel like that happens with heterosexual relationships too, though, because once you get into like a routine and it becomes like we're cohabitating, you know, we're domestic partners. And, you know, it's like we live to, like, especially like when they move into, oh, and you huh, hauling, that's a whole nother thing. Oh, God. So, <laughs> you know, once that whole thing happens, I heard people just get comfortable or whatever it is. That um, sucks. I mean, I can't speak. On, well, you're saying no, I can't. Because can for you me, or not? <laughs> for me, and this right quick. <laughs> and she turns off Instagram Live. Yeah. <laughs> for me, when it, I, I I don't get bored. Like it's it's hot and sweaty all the time. I don't give a damn. Say okay? that. What's your sign again? I'm a Cancer. Ow. We like to love. Ow. We make you feel nice. So the day you come in my room or we somewhere and it just boring as hell, you got to go. Yeah, there's okay? a problem. Like you're you're not stimulating me and we can't do this. So I'm about to bounce. Yeah, I've always said that. As far as me and that like sex goes, if I'm not trying to rip your clothes off every minute of every day, mm. something is wrong. Like if we're in a relationship, something is wrong. Or I'm super, 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 super busy. 
Man. Like I have a shit ton of things going on. But even still, and then I'm just like, I want to touch on some skin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's just me. I don't know. I've never dated a female cancer. <clears throat> I hope not to. I, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Just <laughs> when the clash come together. Cause I've dated a cancer male. Same. It was horrible. Mm. So imagine yeah. the female. Yeah. Nah, I'll pass. No. And I think that's one of the things too, like with the U hauling is they say that lesbians, you know, after like the first date, they got a U haul truck because they're ready to move in, get married, and all these fun things. I think that comes from the fact of, you know, women being naturally emotional people. We're mm-hmm. nurturers. So it's like, you're nurturing, I'm nurturing, we're just nurturing and loving on each other. So all we the should time, just do so. it together. Exactly. But then lesbians have the worst fights, yo. Like, their fights are like, they're real. Domestic? Yes. I mean, it's domestic, but I think like most gay couples are like, they have real fights because it's like, we're the same gender, we can, we can hash it out. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Which I so think it's, it's, like, it's, it's, it's good and bad. Why is it good? I don't. <laughs> Violence is never good, people. It's n- <laughs> I'm not gonna say that, unless it's during sex, and it's consensual. Oh, okay, I'm about to say cause consensual domestic sex. It, <laughs> no, it's not Fifty Shades of Grey. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, didn't that just come out? Didn't yeah, come today. Out? Oh, today. Was ah. it Fifty Shades of Gate? Gay. 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 <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. Freed. Wait, did you read the books? Yeah, I like the books better. I can't watch the movie. I've only seen one of the movies. Don't but watch the I rest want, of them. I want to, though. Yeah. I know yeah. movies never really, like, come all the way around for me as far as Listen, reading the books it, and everything. They don't come halfway. Eh, they can't, but they can't go in detail like they do in the books, though. There's they no can't. chemistry in the movie. <sighs> it's, it's like a dry-ass relationship. Well. The sweat dries. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of was dry in the book, too, in a sense. I feel like, okay. As far as that goes, I feel like it's based on the person reading its interpretation. So if you're into that kind of stuff and you can understand where that's coming from, it will feel more intense for you reading the book. Okay. Now, if you have no imagination, you have no kind of kink, no kind of anything, and you just feel like, oh, my God, no, you're just into vanilla sex and that's it, <laughs> then you're going to be like, oh, my God, this book is horrible. Like when it first released and everybody went ape shit and was like, this is violent. And no, no, no. When, you know, the world got introduced to BDSM. You know what I realized? My mom is nasty. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> My mom bought the book. That's how I got to read it. I'm not commenting on my mother and books. We're just going to leave that where it is. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as far as that goes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's based on perception, like with mm-hmm. everything else. So, I feel like the movie, though, they couldn't go into it like how it was in the book. Because you probably read the book and you imagine the dark, the freaking private room just like not in your... talk about what I imagined. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? When he done strapped her up, legs and arms and everything, and, you know, blindfolded and all this. You probably imagine this whole thing, and then it's you see it on thing. film. <laughs> you see it on film, and it's like, that's not what I imagined. So, you you have to go based on that, because, you know, it's, uh, but it it's just, perception. It ruins, it ruins the whole thing for me, though. Because watching the, when I read the first book, and then I watched the movie, I said, why is this bitch so stiff? She was a virgin. Even after the fact, she was she, still stiff. But the, she was intimidated by him also. Okay, what happened to the second movie? Still stiff as a cardboard. I feel like she didn't really get like She's, into herself, really. Because imagine, she was in college still when she met him, right? This is a millionaire who owns a company. Like, bitches flock to him. Like, so you, that should make he's you... A, he's a playboy. That should That's make you drip soaked she was dripping but she just didn't know what to do with it <laughs> i mean in all honesty you know say she just didn't know what to do with it so that's probably why she appeared stiff and i feel like they wanted her to appear that way too she couldn't just bust out the freaks and spin around out there to do all this extraness because she's supposed to be you know a virgin and learning what he likes and learning to abide and also remember she's supposed to be submissive Mm -hmm. so she can't really you know act out exactly i mean she had her moments but she did it outside of the bedroom it wasn't really necessarily like you know Mm. 
I'm putting this on you. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. You know, yeah, just you know, give her a blight or whatever. But, you know, the subject of domestic violence, I had a friend who was studying psychology in college, and she said that um, she's studying LGBT, like, psychology and all these things. Mm-hmm. And apparently... I don't know if it's in a book or someone said that. This is very big. This is a long time ago. But someone said that um, psychologically speaking, in lesbian relationships, withholding sex is considered as domestic violence. Withholding sex? Yes. Like purposely withholding sex, like saying, I'm not going to give you none, so is considered what? domestic violence. Because it's domestic violence isn't always physical, though. That is true. So I heard that and I was like, ooh. Is that also considered in a heterosexual relationship? <laughs> you got you got some claims a, to file. I'm like, just saying because <laughs> I need to report this to the police. <laughs> so if, if I need woman more. to woman, it's <laughs> domestic violence. <laughs> woman to man, what is it? Just you ain't getting none. That's it. <laughs> I don't know. She didn't study a uh, heterosexual I relationship. Ask her what class she took because I want to take that class. <laughs> but dom- is domestic violence between a woman and is that the same thing with a Wow! When people don't have no respect for your show at all, because it's a Wednesday. You gonna say hi at least it's since you you got you know your sound effects in the listen, background. Pointless. It's because it's a Wednesday. Mm, I must have saw. Oh, oh, you can respond to that though. <laughs> you know how to draw it out of you. <laughs> so, is it the same thing for a man and man and man? That's gonna be answered on a later episode. Oh, I'm okay. not giving any promises. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna Google it. Google tell you everything. <laughs> you're no Google tells you you're gonna die. Never mind. That's it. Google just tells you I, it's I terminal wanna, and you're gonna die. No, I don't want to Google it. it <laughs> I want to live. But yeah, that's you know. That's, tell your friend we need to have a conversation because <laughs> I need some files to clear because this is not working. I need to put names down. I'm snitching. I'm doing all of that. Snitches yeah, oh, get stitches. No do snitching. I get money back? money uh, listen i need to file a lawsuit oh jesus is, Dem- this, a, is this a civil suit or a criminal <laughs> both because after you go to jail for denying me sex i need you to pay up oh well you know she wants all all the coins all of it all the reparations <laughs> but you know there's yeah that's we just went way off that's that interesting <laughs> yeah but if you think about it though because Let's say, like I said, you know, they start off and it's sex, 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 rabbits, rabbits, rabbits. And then, and then <laughs> later on down the line, y'all get in an argument or something and it's like, uh, no. Okay, then maybe somebody needs to file a claim against me. Oh, geez. Because, I mean, it wasn't sex, sex, sex in the beginning. It just got, she just got really annoying. And I was just got like, annoying. How? Okay, so knowing me, mm-hmm. like I'm straightforward. Like when you say certain things, I look at you like nigga, what? Oh, you're a cancer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we we're blunt with certain things, mm-hmm. and certain when stuff come out of people's mouth, you just makes you think twice. Like, did you really just say that? <laughs> and then they get really emotional, and then you know you're an emotional person, but you mm-hmm. know how to front. Yeah. And you be like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> like, and then later on you'll be like oh my god da, 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 whatever yeah but in fuck the moment, my feelings right now <laughs> in the moment it's like fuck me like what the hell is wrong with you i can't deal with this <laughs> and then they get upset because you're nonchalant or Ooh, girl read my life you're nonchalant or um you're negative as they say Ooh, read my life girl read my life how am i negative if i, I feel don't... attacked right now <laughs> i feel but that's attacked. what they said to me i'm a negative person i was like I'm not negative. I just don't understand your fuckery. <laughs> because you like to talk seven miles, like, no, 30,000 30, miles per hour. Mm. And I'm trying to understand what you're going through. I can't understand what you're going through. And then you get upset when I don't understand. And when I try to understand, you get frustrated. Well, see, we get annoyed very easily. Yeah. So I give up and be like, yo, fuck it. Just don't talk to me. Like, they're completely blocked. I don't even... Oh, shit. They follow me on Snapchat, though. <laughs> I see it every day. I got Keeping a mess- an eye on you? Yeah, I got a message. Why did you block me? And I blocked you on that. See, like, why do people do that? If I blocked you on everything, why do you, like, comment so I know that you're not blocked on this? Do you want to get blocked why on this Why are you one? so annoying? They love you. They We're lovable people. I understand that. 
we're loving and caring people. Yes. We have two. Well, we're we're kind of clingy and, you know, we give you attention and all this stuff. But then when we're over it, it's like, fuck everything. Exactly. And I tried to show that to her multiple times. Mm. And it's just Recidivism. like. Because mm. we had a threesome, right? Oh, tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> We had a threesome, and then that, the guy. Was it, oh, I was about to ask, was, was it with a guy or with a girl? It was a guy. So, me and that guy had, Your like. Instagram still off? <laughs> yeah, it's off. It's off. And I was actually speaking to that person earlier, too. Oh. Um, he has a whole other type of situation, right? Mm-hmm. So, we, we, whatever. We've known each other for a long time. Mm-hmm. So, we have an understanding. Now, you can't you do and no- the guy you me and the, and the guy has an understanding okay. i only know this girl for like three months and she's already annoying the fuck out of me oh it but is too nice that's not my problem Ooh. um it's like when we first met up that's when it happened so ask me how Ooh. and she started getting attached to him and i backed up mm-hmm. i was like that's your problem now Mm-hmm. So you sleep with him on the side and whatnot, and then you calling me. Oh, we need to have another one. The second time, when I tell you, like I did not participate at all. Did you watch? Not even. It wasn't <gasps> interesting to watch. Oh man! I just when she when he was done with her, I took mine, and I went home. <laughs> oh, you went after a man? I can't. Mm. <laughs> see. This is why people like be like, Janae, you're a lesbian. I. Mm-hmm. Well, I kind of let her go first because I didn't want to deal with that. Because she kept touching on me. was like, <laughs> no, just stop. You're turning yeah, me off. Yeah, we are over people. We are over people. That's what I'm saying. It's like I was completely turned off. And every time she tried to kiss me, I'd be like, bro, I want to go home. Mm-mm. And I didn't want to ruin the night because we all put money in for this room. So oh. it was a spiral. So I went upstairs oh. to go watch Yeah, I had one of them rooms. Yeah, I went to go watch the news. You know, I feel so like prude because i've never been to one of those what is wrong and i with keep you? hearing these stories and i was by one one time and what happened oh no no i was going to a party relax i was going to a party and you know someone was like oh those are the hotels where you rent the room by the minute by the hour what mm-hmm. now excuse me i be flying these hoes out and paying for rooms by the night y'all talking about for the hour you pay for by the, the night well I don't think I paid you for bougie. that. No, I didn't pay for it. Oh, okay. I didn't pay for I'm it. I'm say, because you got money. Mm. I mean, I... Because mm. if you're not trying to see them after three hours... But I left. Get... Oh, God. When I'm done, I leave. You paid for the room. You can spend the night there. Oh, see, if they paid for the room, I understand. And I, Girl, you... you got it. <laughs> Just horrible. I thought I was bad. No, like, you know, you got it. But it's when I was young, you know. Do you turn off your phone after or, like... Turn off my phone for what? I don't know. I'm Nigga, asking. I'm grown. If my phone ring, I'm answering it. I'm not answering shit. No. We, we, oh, you mean for them? Yeah. Oh, don't call me. They text. Don't even. Don't, you, don't. You're blocked when we do everything. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I thought I was mean. Well, yeah, here well, we go. In the process, you're still being blocked. Like, well, see, okay. This is where I tap into like the more emotional side of cancer. Because oh, I'm one of those people like... I went through a phase. <laughs> yeah, mm. I went through a phase where hmm. she got to think about it. <laughs> you got to think about it. I, w- I was I was a bit more free spirited. Elaborate, please. <laughs> and I was more open to things that uh-huh. it was a phase, you know, of sorts that I've heard that people need to go through. Which phase is this? You know. I want to know if I went through it. <laughs> oh, the, 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 yes, the whole thing? Oh, yeah, I've been yes. through that phase. You know, where, you know, fuck a gal, buck a gal, and go on boy business. Hey, but, uh, <laughs> but, you know, in real life, I was going through some shit. In real life, though, I can't have sex with people with no strings attached. Like, I have to be emotionally connected to someone mm-hmm. in order to give my body to them. Because... I'm low-key into myself, and I feel like I'm the shit, and not just anybody can get it. So that's my whole thing about it. I don't knock nobody. Listen, if you want to bust it open, that's your business. It's yours. Enjoy it. As long as you know what you're doing, why mm-hmm. you're doing it, and how you feel about it, I, go right ahead. Just don't complain to me. Oh, my God, I feel so dirty. <laughs> Bitch, you shouldn't have done it. But you dirty when you did it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I personally, like, now that I'm old, you know, 22 is a long way from yeah so i i'm more cautious about things like that Mm -hmm. you know so even if like 
<laughs> about to say something I'm supposed to be saying. <laughs> but okay, be real. So let's say I'm in a relationship with someone and we're okay with the idea of having threesomes. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that other person because the person I'm in a relationship with and has feelings for mm -hmm. is there. You get me? Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm having just random casual sex. It's me and my partner sharing something. That's how I look at it. Yeah, so, yeah. So I'm saying like the whole idea of casual sex. Be like, oh, but you, you know, you randomly go get a pet and whatever, whatever. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah, but a pets. <laughs> I'm but, sorry. Continue. <laughs> My bad. But you know, saying it's like you can. I, I'm okay with that because there's some kind of emotional connection between in the room. Oh, okay. So, so it's there, not that I care about the other person necessarily. Which you really don't because you call but, it a pet. Well, no. <laughs> Would you prefer a unicorn? I like that's, that. That's that's, that's that. the pretty one that people like to use. So you know, what I'm saying it's just. That's my take on it. Now, mm -hmm. being single and just going around and just frolicking. I, that's no, mm -mm, no. I can't. That's when I, you itch. I went. <laughs> that's when you need to get tested. <laughs> well, you got to get tested in relationships too. But you know what I'm saying? Just that's that's me. But like I said, some people, they can do that. Mm -hmm. And it's not even a matter of sense of like, I'm going to be my feelings about the sex afterwards. It's just the sex itself is not fulfilling for me and i had to do it to find out that it wasn't fulfilling for me okay. because i'm having dry just just sex with you and i don't because if i care about you i'm going all out i care about you you know what i'm saying it's not just the fuck so oh, excuse me you're not getting the benefit of me so what's the point just to say i hit it like no like you I know whatever it, i hit it i'm sorry <laughs> i'm thinking of ray j i mean you say you're I, listening to ray j you can't say this song. I hit it first, but oh god, you know, um, I, I I agree with that because with that whole situation I was in, I've dated that person, mm. and we to this day still have that connection. I can't stand him. Is that your bestie? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, unfortunately. Mm. I got a girlfriend. Mm. But anyway, those damn girlfriends. Yeah, she doesn't like me. But anyways, um. I wonder why she doesn't know. Oh, so she just doesn't like you for no reason? It's cancer's presence. You know, we come. Yeah, a lot of people don't like me just off of existence, too. We have the resting bitch face. I think it comes with being Jamaican, also. That's a whole just, another different topic. We just look like Gosokya Mada all the time. Oh, I say it all the time. Yeah, <laughs> but, you know, even without verbally saying it, body language and... That's true. But I think the emotional, like, yeah, I, I understand that because I can't. If I have sex with somebody, it has to be somebody I already had sex with. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take me a long time to try with somebody new. Exactly. And then it's like, if I don't, like, I had to do. I did that once. I tried it with somebody, and I tell you, I block. I blocked them. <laughs> block and delete. <laughs> block and delete. He found and kept finding me somehow. Oh God. And I was just like, honestly, I'm not into you. Like, that alone. She's not that into you, bro. <laughs> the sex itself threw me off. And I was like, you know, when you have you having sex and you get to a point like, yo, when, I'm, when are we done? What? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. You've never been through that. N no. But I, I have in that you situation. You poor child. It was, I, I just need to get up now. Like, and you didn't just get up? Like when they talk about, oh, I'm, I was like, eh, yeah. Ew, no. stop. <laughs> <laughs> no mas. It, this, mm. Like, I couldn't look him in the, like, I started mm. laughing. Oh, shit. I started laughing because I was trying not to get upset. Did you fake it? Oh, I had to to get out of that situation. No, no, baby, no. What do you mean, no? For your own safety, not safety. Man, fuck your manhood. For your own benefit. I, no, you there was no benefit at all. I was. You don't fake it. Just, just say stop. Just like I don't want to do this anymore. It's like, <laughs> all right, time to go. I want to go home. Mm. You don't want to watch a movie for what? Mm. This is not Netflix and chill. This was more he like was a clinger. Mm. Every mm. time I get a random text, mm. oh, you see how you do me? Oh, like oh. I changed my number again oh. for this reason. You just triggered something. Ooh. How are you doing, people, woman? <laughs> okay, so here's my thing, right? 
I'm more partial to stimulation more than penetration, right? Okay. And I feel like, well, there's a whole other subject that goes with that. But I feel like you can get some quicker if you eat it. Because That's I'll true. let you eat it. <laughs> you you can eat it. You can eat it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I won't pay you no mind if you're talking about you trying to hit it. But n- no. Give me head all day long. So, exactly. If you do it right. Oh, Because if you do it wrong, I'm going to kick you in the face. Yeah, like, no. So... I had a situation like that. I hope this person don't ever hear this podcast. <laughs> but I had a situation. I'm not editing shit. Okay, well, let it I burn. I had a situation. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Let it know. No. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry, Usher. Sorry. <laughs> There's no burning. <laughs> but they gave me head. And it was great. I got caught up in a wave. Mm. I was like, oh, God, this sex sucks. <laughs> I was like... Mm. yeah it never happened again see and it, i'm not the only one it's someone where like i liked this person though like i actually genuinely like we were talking and it was like first of all i had the biggest crush on them for like forever see that's and then sign. it just ruined it exactly it's just like leave some people as fantasies because you get the real thing and it's like um mm, mm. i just wasted for real like time. i wasted all these dreams and thoughts on this now every time i see you i want to puke for real like ugh. just ugh. i just had now, a thought they're still head. a nice person they're great god you know, bless your cool. soul i just feel kind of bad because they keep messaging me here and they're like damn you just hit it and quit it and did it and i was just like man i just quit it because ain't no hitting okay you didn't hit it right <sighs> You probably licked it right, but you ain't hit it. You might have tapped it. You ain't hit it. You said tap? No. You that's it. You're it. giving too much credit. Oh, man. listen. On the subject of tapping and hitting, I had to touch on this subject because uh, you, you wanted me to talk about kinks and all these things with all these promos. Wet Wednesday. <laughs> wet Wednesdays. But someone actually, like, okay. You know, you talk about like Fifty Shades of Grey, the whole BDSM and slapping mm-hmm. and choking and whips and chains and all these things. I was talking to someone for a while and, you know, some people like they try to do things to please you mm-hmm. because they know that you're into it, even yes. if they're not. And it's like, yeah, you get an A for effort, you know, go you for being considerate, but they don't do it the, the way it's supposed to be done. Yeah. So the whole ass slapping thing. Apparently not everyone is into that. And what? <laughs> y'all should see her face. What? <laughs> yeah. So there's like a gentle tapping motion. <laughs> you just said gentle tapping motion? <laughs> How do you gently tap an ass? You know, it's just like, you know, like petting almost. Yeah. 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 Oh, t- d- done. Sex like over. somebody scared in a strip club. Like, you know, just. The first time you've seen ass? Yeah. Uh-huh. Must be. You know what I'm saying? And. I realize that not everybody is into that kind of stuff because I've had other situations where I remember I was talking to a friend on the phone while I was chilling with someone and we like talking, talking slackness, you know, and said something about choking and they're like, oh, oh my God, some people are into that and, you know, you want someone to choke you and hit you during sex and they like laughed about it. Like, who would want that? And I'm sitting there looking like, obviously not you. I'm just looking like we're never going to have sex ever. <laughs> And we never, because that keeps playing in my mind. Like you're, you're not gonna choke me. So why are we having vanilla? This conversation? Like van, what? It's just going in and out, and that's all you want. Like you just want to lick on my. That vanilla. doesn't get it's, boring. I mean, I just you know different strokes for different folks. But yeah, if you for me. <laughs> if you want to get down to it, some people like. The subject of body wash and all types of things always come up because people talk about all these taboo Mm -mm. subjects. Like, and I love to talk about this because at one point, eating vagina was taboo. You couldn't find nobody to say they eat vagina. They was doing it and lying. No, no. Like you know, all these all these Caribbean artists that want to talk about you know nyamming and na 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 and bun out the yeah no no you're nyamming it too Mm -hmm. don't lie Mm -hmm. probably nyamming it better than everybody (laughs) and a spoon without the fork and the spoon face first what (laughs) no hands you know what I'm saying so there's that whole thing so you know now the whole thing is who's eating ass 
Mm. And they're like, no, I don't. And then there's some people who are willing to eat ass but won't suck toes. And then people are like, and then there's like the different sides of it. It's like, oh, so you can eat ass but you can't suck toes. And I've always thought that conversation was hilarious because what people want to do with their mouth is their business. <laughs> Just brush your teeth and, <laughs> and mouthwash. Well, them. I mean, in my opinion, if you need to do all that afterwards, you probably need to not be eating That's or true. sucking That's those true. body parts. Make sure it's clean. Hygiene, Clean. Clean. Clean it yourself if you have to. That's nasty. That's nasty. And then you start talking about, like, you know, butt plugs and, you know, you start getting into... I would never try that. You would never do what, honey? Okay, butt plugs, like, you gotta ease me into that one. uh, You're supposed to ease into it. (laughs) (laughs) You like that? (laughs) Okay, I set myself up. You're supposed (laughs) to... you're but, supposed to ease into it there are methods and tactics and things that you're supposed to do like don't um, eat beans the day of <laughs> oh, just don't eat just, you know um, i mean or you can try that but you might be gassy see listen listen there are things i it's gonna take maybe when i'm 30 <laughs> but right I mean, now it's not happening i've already had the the the, the ass eating and the the whole dick no mm. that Never again. Okay, I'm saving that for marriage. <clears throat> yeah, I, you your know. anal is still a version. Yes. Asking. Yes. Okay. I'm I'm saving something for am marriage. I, am I the only disgusting one over here that has done almost everything, except for butt plugs? Well, I just haven't had a penis in my butt. I, it, I, hey, excuse me. You might like it. I don't know. I didn't like it. <laughs> Why didn't you like it? I think more of the stretching and the pain. Ooh, you didn't prep. You didn't uh, prep. That's what. Oh that no, was. no, they prepped. It still didn't happen. How how much prepping did you do? Because a lot. Still, because yeah. the person kind of thick. Yeah, you yeah. Need, you need to do a lot of prep with that. Yeah, but not you pre- should probably start with a butt plug if yeah. you're gonna take. The I'm whole not thing. sticking anything in my ass anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Exit only. Okay, there we go. Thank you. If Where's you want to put your face there, maybe. But other than that, mm. I'm not sticking nothing. <laughs> Maybe you can put it. See, like future said thumb. Just use thumb. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. though. you start off with that. You work your way up to you work know, your way up. I'm staying there. I'm just saying for other people who might be interested. Good luck. <laughs> you're scaring away the bottoms. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> the future baby bottoms. <laughs> hey, but somebody trying this shit tonight. Hey. Maybe Make I sure got, you use lots of lube. I got the lube. Listen, Uber Lube is a good lube. It's very silky. You just said Uber Lube? Yeah, it's called Uber Lube. Okay, I went to a sex store, right? I get excited. I love sex stores. And I'll I be testing out the lubes. They have the little samples, and you can try it. Mm-hmm. And I literally walked around the whole store. And mind you, when I go to sex stores, I'll be in there forever. Like, I'll be looking at the products. I believe you. So I'm walking around and rubbing my fingers the whole time. And it is just slipping and sliding, slipping and sliding the whole way, walking the whole store. And I'm just like... This is some good shit. Trick Daddy had to do something with that. Slip and slide and all that foolishness. <laughs> hey, I wonder if he has a lube. That would be good. I don't if know. he wanted to cater to, you know, the LGBT. No, that would be smart, though. Slip and slide. Hey, they love Trina. Slip and slide. Listen. I'm not going to talk I want my, what is it, 15%? That's what we taking? <laughs> I, I want all it's of Trina, it. It's Trina. You better take 20. I want all of it. She got chips now. Did you see that? Yeah, she, Her face that. is on a chip bag. You try it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love Trina. Power to Trina. I love her. I Sorry, just... no chips. Sorry. Mm-mm. With mm-hmm. a jalapeno? Is that what it was? I, mean, I haven't happened. seen it in stores. I see it because I follow her on Twitter. But I know people that have the test bags. Oh. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. This, isn't there one for Boosie and like all these other people too? Yeah, they're in Atlanta though. Like they have someone for me both. Oh. With a dab of ranch? <laughs> <laughs> but (laughs) no but like yeah like i was saying like you know lube is very important if you're gonna do anal so anyone listen to this right now baby oil will not work for you yeah don't it looks great for the videos your butt's all shiny but don't mm -mm. that that's not what baby oil is made for don't you can oh my gosh there's a website that gives you free not prophylactics but 
god oh yeah sex liberation they send you like free sex toys all you have to do is pay for like shipping but there's a limited amount of things that it lets you get sexylibration.org that's a website they Sexy pay you because liber- you're sitting here dropping stuff because i think that people should have if you're interested in you know other things mm-hmm. the fact that they're providing it for free hey try it's it. exactly to Can help you, you explore yourself it's free <laughs> what I'm gonna say I don't want it. What are All you're do? paying for is shipping, and I think it's like three dollars shipping. But they have what is it? They have little vibrators. Send me that website. Look, see, it's free. The vibrator, the little lipstick vibrator, it's free. They have like a little starter butt plug. There's two of them that are free, and there's a couple other things that are free. Kegel ball. Yes. You have to quint it. What's, what a girl name? What she say? You have to quint it because she have the must come back. Mm. Mm-hmm. Tighten up the muscles. Type, type, type. Yes. <laughs> so, girl, give me my phone. <laughs> she, she's really looking at it. So I'm just, sorry right now. Just, just send but that to me. They like, have, <laughs> and they have discounted prices on like you know rabbits and there's. It's not an extensive list, but it's a great place. Out? Exactly, it's okay. a great place for people who are interested in trying things and they don't want to spend their money and be like i hate this shit throw it in the trash but literally you pay for shipping it's probably like four dollars and you can order three or four items and get your rocks off that's listening and you actually get it just let me know how that works out i went on the website did you order Mm something okay so you let me know (laughs) how that works out for you okay and which one you got Okay, never mind. So you already got it. We'll, we'll discuss after the show. Yeah, which, we'll talk about that items later. I received for free. Okay. Yes. But like I'm saying, though, you know, you experimenting is okay as long as it's safe and consensual. I think experimenting is something that's mandatory. Yes. Yes. But you can say that and I can say that. But some people are not open to it. And feel like, me. yeah, but not everybody's trying to fuck with you, though. You know, you can just be friends. Be, I don't want to be a friend. Can be oh. friends, no? I don't okay. have friends. No? Like, I have, like, a limited of, like, five people. I don't want to talk about friends right now. So. Oh, okay. We're. <laughs> we. Oh, and speaking of that, it was funny because when I first um saw the website, I was like, damn, they don't have no straps on it. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. I don't know if they're gonna get to that point because they have vibrators and you know stuff like Somebody that. Somebody gonna say something about some straps and they gonna put it in there. Maybe if they have, but straps are kind of expensive. You get like a decent size one because, or not even size, but like one of good quality because mm-hmm. there's like I have a you question pay for what about you get. That, though. What's up? You okay? So, which I never understood uh-huh. when it came to like lesbian relationships right oh please don't say this ignorance ass statement yes i am oh, gonna say this ignorant ass statement and mm. you're gonna answer it for me if you can mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so you're a lesbian right mm-hmm. you guys buy strap-ons but i'm not you, a lesbian okay i have my moments <laughs> when you're in those moments if you ever have been in this type of situation mm-hmm. where you use strap-ons mm-hmm. but you won't take real dick what is the difference other than the fact that one's real and one's not well let me give you a little education right Please now. Please and thank you because <clears throat> I, I feel like I need to learn something. I personally have never been strapped. But you, I feel like you, yeah, okay. You feel like what? Speak your mind. Speak your I mind. feel like your you're mind. the one that wears Talk the your strap. mind. A lot of people feel that way. Yeah, you're the more, your your demeanor is like, you're mine. Bitch, don't tell me what to do. I tell you what to do. And hand here, hand here, tie that up and don't move. <laughs> <laughs> hi dangles hey that's el negro from the last episode but um uh, am i correct slightly all the way okay i, I, I know i know i'm not i mean crazy. you know i've been called daddy a time or two but you know i mean shit you jump from mama to dad okay go no, ahead no no ain't no mama nothing. that's what i'm saying it's, it goes straight to daddy it's been daddy a few times um okay the whole strap thing is not necessarily about wanting dick and mm-hmm. not wanting dick. Okay. Like I said earlier, I'm more partial to stimulation. So, therefore, I like clitoris, ovula, everything around the vagina, touching, sense of all of that feels great to me. I don't necessarily need to be penetrated in mm-hmm. order to come. I can come from penetration. It's been done. It happens. However, I love head (laughs) like i said now there are some women who 
prefer penetration. Some mm-hmm. people need to be penetrated. So whether it's a finger, it's a dildo, it's a strap on, whatever it is, it's that. Now, as far as not taking dick, not taking strap, mm-hmm. they're lesbians. They're not attracted to men. Why would they take dick? It's one of those things where just because it's in the shape of that, the whole point of and get into a whole lesson of anatomy and all this. Preach on. But, <laughs> you know, the penis was formed to satisfy the woman. Mm-hmm. In my world, anyways. It, it, because, you know, it's all about women at the end of the day. So it was formed that way to satisfy the woman. So, of course, they're going to mold toys after such. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Makes so sense. as a woman who's attracted to women and only woman, whether you want to be strapped or not, like, when you, okay, for instance, let's say you don't want to be strapped and you have a dildo. You're going to say because they're not taking dick, they're taking a dildo. Like, it's about what makes you come, essentially. You know what I'm saying? Must and also, dildos don't get soft. Damn, shots fired. Let me stop. So, I'm just saying, <laughs> dildos don't get soft. And that's Lip, all. dick, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dildos don't get soft. And at the end of the day, women, when we come, we can come multiple times back to back and over a period of time. We might need a break to catch a breath, but at the end of the day, vagina really don't need a break. That's why it's a woman of white liver. So um in an essence, it's not necessarily about you can take a strap, but you can't take dick. Like okay. it's what I, you, I, I get it now. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? See, I didn't understand it. Thank you for explaining that to me. No I problem. learned something. Now that, that ignorance of me is gone. Since if somebody oh, asks me that, I can tell them. Like, no limb dick niggas over here. Thank you. <laughs> That's going to be a post. I swear You got something to say? <laughs> Yanni. <laughs> no? Okay, no? cool. Okay. I wanted to say something. I'm just it saying, seemed you like, like you had something yeah, to say. Because when... Know. I'm just saying. You look like you had a There's thought. There's a guy in the room, guys. You just had a case. thought in your mind, and you said, <laughs> I don't know if attacked. I should say this. Because <laughs> there's two of them I had a here. million thoughts. I'm keeping them to myself. Okay. Oh, okay. no, this share. This is the pointless talks. Oh, no. It is okay. So oh, you can. I'm just, I almost I'm, said I'm, something. I'm going to be in a producer right now, just producing. So back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Light Skin. Light Skin Records out. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean. All right, Darkies. Thank you for appreciating and knowing that, you know, I am an We're inner chocolate queens. woman. Darky. My that's racist. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's not even to say that, it, well, it is an ignorant question, but a lot of people ask that question. It is, they don't know. Yeah, but also understand. a lot of people don't want to know, though. Like, the fact that you actually asked and you're like, okay, what is the difference? Like, why are they okay with this as opposed to this? And, I mean... A lot of people don't understand that lesbian means that you are attracted to women and not men. Like, and completely. Exactly. Like, exclusively attracted to women. And... That's a better ex- uh, explanation. Right Well, here. no. That's an explanation as far as attraction goes. As far as sex goes is a completely different thing. Because there are a lot of people that claim lesbianity that are bisexual. And no, they but, get- but, but what's your point? What your point was, um, you were saying it's about what makes you come. So meaning yeah, but- that the, the type of penetration and it's in the shape of a penis. So not because it's in the shape of a penis, that doesn't mean you want to have sex with a guy. Mm-hmm. I get that point. Mm-hmm. But um, what I'm trying to say is it's, well, listen. It's a pointless <laughs> talk. I'm not even going to go into it because I, I don't want to get so deep into ahead. it. Go ahead. You might as well. This is the reason there's pointless talk. Go ahead. Exactly. Then I, my, my thing is then just have sex. I know you, you're attracted to a woman. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if that's how you come, have sex with a guy and just don't have no... Uh, not uh, everybody can just dash it out and just be done. Some that's people true. Have to be, some people won't get wet if they're not emotionally involved. Right, But that's how you come. A, wo- a woman but technically won't, but you won't get wet a dildo you. cannot compare to uh, a penis really now period only no matter cameras. no matter if the guy is a is a two second guy an hour guy 30 minutes 15 minutes Jesus Christ. it can't it, it, really it, now it can't 
the, and I know you're going to say, oh, they have dildos in the, the skin texture. Oh, have you the, touched one? No, I haven't. I wouldn't <laughs> touch one. They feel creepily like it. Exactly. Real. It feels yeah. Is it it feels like, real. It's cr- it's. Is cr- it like when the sex the, like they said the sex dolls now their vaginas feel real? E, I don't know. Maybe I want to like mm. touch one. Listen, even a sex doll, like a sex doll, a, you put a, a little lube on a it. A pocket, a pocket know. pussy or a sex doll yeah, cannot pocket. Whatever. Sorry. See, I don't know because I was about to say well, they I call can't. It pocket pussy. They can't compare to a female but vagina. Flashlight. But you know, well. Yeah, no, it can't. It can't. No, all it, it can't. It How can't. do you, you know? Never I never tried. used it, but then it, it, it doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't me. matter. Okay. Nothing know. can duplicate the creator's masterpiece, which is oh, the woman. And it's and on that note, I oh, dropped the mic and I turned off my mic. We Mice are every good day. We yeah, out for real because you can't. Well, you can talk about that as far as the vagina goes, but as far as the penis goes, not everyone is fond of the way penis feels as a whole. So I mean, like I said, dildos don't get soft, straps don't get soft. So <laughs> so you know, what I'm saying you can sit there and say it doesn't compare to whatever the creator did and designed and all this other stuff, but at the end of the day, oh, you got something to say again? <laughs> he just gonna say it. He just gonna say it. <laughs> but at the end of the day, like I said, it's not necessarily about dick. It's about what makes you come, who you're attracted to. Because you can be in a relationship with a man, and he might have a penis. Well, he if it's a man, I guess he. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. He might not have it yet. You know, he might use an STP. You never know. So, okay, so what I'm getting at is if it's a woman, mm-hmm. okay, if you're attracted to a woman and you have, they have a dildo, mm-hmm. basically, the fact that she is a woman mm-hmm. and that's that what is you're being used, to. it's a woman. Now, yes. if it was a man, it's like, no. Yeah, vagina dry up. Not happening. Yeah. No. Wouldn't even get that far, much less. Like, oh I'm not looking at you two times. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Makes so sense. it's, exactly. It. That's why, it. like, okay. I've been in lesbian relationships and walking with women and holding hands and being affectionate and the ignorance of men that will come and be like, oh, y'all need some dick in between that. Like, I had a short to be like, her dick is bigger than yours. And I just oh. be like, mm. yeah. technically it ain't yours. Not because you bought it. it. Yes. It ain't yes. yours. Yes. You was a receipt. <laughs> Listen, it belongs to listen me. Listen to me. Y'all about to get ignorant. Anymore. Listen, get you can get more. ignorant. I got Y'all you. Y'all got about 10 minutes left for the show. Anyway. Don't be a no, hater. Don't. I'm about to, to get ignorant. <laughs> don't try to shut us down. Listen to me, okay? Listen, ignorant. you can get ignorant because I've been dealing with ignorant for over a decade. So I got the answers. You want to come with it? Let's go. We can do this all Tell night em. long. Okay? Because at the end of the day, you want to throw some dick in it? No, but my dick is bigger than yours. It's my dick. I and paid it's for in it. my closet and I can pull that <laughs> hole out hard all the time, nigga. <laughs> you want to with it. Okay. But listen, we can say it about bitches are weaving. Some of y'all niggas love bitches are weave. It's not hard, but you love ass. it. So, but you paid for it. You paid for so, it. So, well, the guy paid for it. Technically, it's yours. It's yours. You paid for it. It's yours. In all reality... Mm-hmm. A relationship is a relationship, whether it's with two women, uh, 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 two men, mm-hmm. uh, man or female, male or female. A relationship is a relationship. Sex, it depends on the person that is doing it, the the individual person that's putting in the effort, right? That that's all it is. It doesn't matter about who's gay or who's straight. Yeah, like he's trying to shut us up. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, because y'all yeah, so, okay. I was asking Wait, a question because I wanted to learn. Y'all sound like men. How? And? Ignorant. The how? way y'all talk about how, like, the way y'all sound right now. How? Y'all sound like so ignorant we sound men. Like friends? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I'm sitting back and I'm like, this is how y'all think guys sound. No, no. That's not, that's how I know that for Elaborate, though. Sound. Say what you're, like, what do you mean by that? Just by you, you guys' assumptions of, of like, how we approach things or how we, what, we no, think. No, elaborate. You're giving me like... I, I can't because y'all ran through so much. I waited well, till the end. Pick to... what, you, what, what you remember or the main ones that w- was festering in your head. Uh, Are you referring to the sub... Like, well, the dildo about... one. Uh-huh. That's one. How do we sound like men that's, when we're talking about that? That's one. Um, I don't know. Y'all have a bunch of shit. But, but no, what do you mean we sound like men when we're talking about that, though, as far as the dildo thing? It, in reference to the fact that we're saying that it doesn't get soft? 
Yeah. A, a guy will say something ignorant like that referring to maybe a, 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 a lesbian couple or like what you were saying, oh, let me get into get let me get in mm-hmm. between that. Mm-hmm. That's something parallel of ignorance. You get what I'm but saying? But it's not ignorance. Oh, you it's don't uh, uh, you don't get uh, a deal don't don't get solved. That's kind of like the same thing of let me get in between that. Like that's not the same thing though. Yes, it is. No, it's not because at the end of the day, <laughs> see Shay over there quiet like no. Yeah, listen, yeah. at the it. at the end of the day, that is a fact. Dildos do not get soft. They might break if you're doing too much. But first of all, if you break, or 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 or, or the other thing is, um, mm. the other thing is, uh, uh, damn shit. You know my memory bad. I lost it. Go ahead. But it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. But no, it's not even necessarily a point of ignorance. It's it's ignorant oh, in the. Sorry. Go ahead. Her dick is bigger than yours. <laughs> Why is that ignorant? Because Listen, a I guy. Get, but I think. Okay, that's yes, like your ego ignorant. is hurt. No, not me. No, you not, know me. I'm not Come saying on. you. I'm just saying it sounds ignorant, but it's always a, a, we always hit below the belt. So we know for a fact that's because that's fuck all they have you. to offer. Exactly. So it's gonna fuck with you. Be like, yo, my dick is bigger. Yo, all you are gonna do is talk mad shit. No, what I'm trying. Okay, let me be real. Okay, uh, not be real. I'm let me. Say let you me was lying this whole time. No, <laughs> let me let me get to the point. Mm-hmm. Right, because I ain't trying to hold you. up. fast forward. <laughs> If a guy say yo to a, to a, a lesbian couple or to a girl that's in a relationship, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and he goes, "Oh, I bet she can't. She she can't fuck you like I can." That's the same thing as saying, "Um, her dick is bigger than yours." You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But but wait, but you would look at that guy as yo, you're 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 one of those ignorant dudes. You're one of those. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. So that's how y'all sound right now. Yeah, sound like those guys. So okay, you're correct. Okay. However, <laughs> check mark. However, however, the reason for that is because when you reply politely, or if you say that's okay, or you're demure, or you're they nice, or whatever, they keep it. listen to me. I was on the beach with some friends, a bunch of women, and some guys literally wanted to fight us because we said that we we're lesbians. Or we don't. We weren't. See, interested I don't in like men. that. And we was ready to, we were ready to bump. Like, what's up? You I know what I'm saying? Ex- we <laughs> we was drinking rum all day too. Like, oh, yeah, no, we no, were no. ready. Like, no. I, so it's like, run. you could easily say no and be polite. But at the end of the day, if a guy doesn't respect you, a guy doesn't respect you. Mm-hmm. I can go tet for tet all day because mm-hmm. you know my mouth is reckless. So at the end of the day, you can say, oh, let me get in between. For what? You can't do nothing with that. My bitch dick bigger than yours. Like get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Her dick don't get soft. That's so those are comments that are brought she's up. Skipping the polite part and just going straight savage. Yes, just like because I'm not gonna waste my time. Because somebody with you. that actually has respect for you and your relationship would not say shit like that. So why the fuck would I give you respect in return? True. That's that's what it is. Because I like that. I do. I, exactly because you know what I'm saying. You can say something to somebody and you can easily be like, damn, y'all are beautiful. You know what happened? And I hate the whole who hurt you shit. Like, bitch, I'm attracted to women. You know what I'm saying? That's it's all ignorance. And it my is response ignorant. to that. My, th- my whole thing is it's 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 uh, we live in an ignorant world. It's the world. show. It's the show after Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. right? So spread some love let's oh, talk about the people love. no let's love. let's talk about the Deep people that do and strokes let, let's talk, <laughs> wet wednesday let's talk, get wet let, and get right fucked. let's talk about the people that do acknowledge and and admire well, beautiful he's light he sounds so emotional beautiful same sex relationship that's question. all i'm saying i got a question who hurt you? <laughs> I'm not hurt. I, this, no, okay. y'all sound hurt. That's I what I'm trying sound, to tell okay. y'all. I, no. I, I light skin. No, come talk. I'm up, speaking no. from a place of annoyance, though, because can we speak our truth and what we go through? Exactly. I, I mean, say, yeah, I sound hurt. Okay, no, that's but, it. I sound hurt. No, I'm in just, a happy place. That's what I'm saying. Let's spread some love. It's Today's just, Wednesday. It's on the topic because she asked a question that was valid, and it, it literally it triggered something though. Mm-hmm. It did trigger something because. I've seen it from people who are ignorant and don't want to learn anything who've said, what's the point of fucking a dyke with a dick, with a strap on, with a fake dick? We can go get some real real dick. Exactly. And I've heard it from women that are heterosexual, men that are heterosexual, and men that don't respect the fact that you're in a lesbian relationship and feel like all you want is dick. No, it's not even about that because guess what? Lesbians have sex without strap-ons. Lesbians have sex without dildos. Lesbians have sex without penetration. 
It's mm-hmm. not necessarily just about that. But like I said earlier, some women prefer penetration. Some women prefer stimulation. It's not just about, oh, you want to go buy a rubber dick where you can get a real one. Like, the statement is ignorant, but it was acquired over time after being... But what is that old school saying? If you argue with a fool... Yeah, you're a fool, you're too. A fool too. But it doesn't become an argument, though. You shut it down right there. Her dick's bigger than yours. And you That's walk it. away. Exactly. You, keep walk- you don't even stop. You keep walking. That's it. It's ignorant, but it gets the point across. We don't want you, point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? I can, this can turn into a whole other subject as to why it goes there, but we're supposed to be happy and talking about sex and all this. We're not talking about death tolls and all these things that come as a result of saying, I'm a lesbian, I'm not interested. Or not responding no, at all. That's a great topic. I yeah, mean, but I'm just saying, like, that's, no, like, it's it's ignorant on a whole other level, and it's just, it's stupid. Okay. But. As lights can say, we need to spread love. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Get I know strapped, some people getting fucked strapped. right now. I know they're not even listening to us. <laughs> they live. probably is listening and was like, I need to know of some positions. I can't help you. They catching position. this on the back end. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, also when you think about it, like on a t- topic of strap-ons, like I said, I've never been strapped and I've never used a strap for my own reasons, and I've never had any complaints. However, I know some people who you know what I'm saying you strap it in. I've heard that some of these people who strap feel like it's a part of them. Like, it's their strap on and they make them in shades so they can match your skin. Girl, don't make that face. You get you a deep chocolate one that looks just like you, honey. You might think it's yours for real, but uh, they made can it. I, can, I, man. Can, I ask, um, can I ask some questions? What's Go up? ahead, Go ahead. sir. All right. You know what I mean? You, you kind of match the wall, kind of. <laughs> Sorry. Let me ask some questions. Mm-hmm. So now, okay. A, uh... A dyke is that a oh. bad term? Yes. Well, because okay, wait. On. Let me set it up. Wait, let me set it up first. I think we need to start educating each other. You trying to educate Instead people? I'm trying to talk about of, sex education. No, but 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 the thing is, it's not just gonna be quote unquote gay people listening to this podcast. There yeah, will be true. straight people and mm-hmm. all kind of different people that is seeking information. So I mean, it's all fun to laugh and to. You know, all of that stuff. But for real, like a person like me, like gay culture wasn't a thing for me mm-hmm. until like way after high school. Uh-huh. Even like like into my late 20s mm-hmm. when social media and stuff like that started to come into play. Like I wasn't looking at friends or a person that was gay and like, oh, yeah, he's gay or that person is gay, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is we're uneducated when it comes to that community, you know? So is... I, I hear a dyke. I hear dykes say dykes. Say it. Say the word dyke. But then if I say it or somebody else just say it, I hear it's a bad word. I mean, it's like kind of like the word nigga. Say that, sis. But we don't know. That's my whole point of saying what I said earlier. Mm-hmm. A lot of people is not introduced to, mm-hmm. to that. Okay, we touched on this in the first episode where you know Dem Sugar said that at the end of the day. We're coming into our own with the word dyke, Mm -hmm. okay? And I brought up the fact that it's like the word nigga. Black people are taking back ownership of the word nigga. It started out as, you know, a means of oppression and it was negative and it was something that was said regularly to keep us down and say, you know, nigga, 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 it's negative. Mm -hmm. Black people have come out, you know, over the years and they've taken ownership of it, like literally taken ownership of it and said, Y'all can't say this no more if you're not white, black. Like, if you're white, you say this, like, you can jump. you're racist. <laughs> you're racist. You know what I'm saying? So it's not, it's like, okay, now that's the same thing with dyke. Mm-hmm. Like, with nigga, there are black people who don't like the word nigga. That's true. Okay? There are black people who, they understand what's going on with it, but at the end of the day, the word nigga touches something for them. It's, well, they what is, what, hold, I'm getting what there. is the root? Hold what, on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it gets to that point where it's like, I'm tired of this. I'm taking ownership. It's mine now. You can't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. Right? And then there's still the whole thing of, I'm saying it because it's making me feel better and it's making me feel like I have something that you can't have. You use this to oppress me at one point. Right? It's the same thing with the word dyke from how I'm taking it. I personally, I hate the word. I think it sounds disgusting. I... I might use it lightly once or twice a month, if anything. And I see all over that, but I really just don't like it. Mm -hmm. I see all over a lot of lesbians use the word dyke and it's getting more like, it's more 
regular and normal to use it. It's becoming like nigga in a sense where dykes say say dyke. Like mm-hmm. they say dyke and it's, oh yeah, all the dykes come through whatever, whatever. And it's a regular word and they're taking ownership of it. Because I remember when I first came here and like back in the 90s, late 90s, butch was the word that, mm-hmm. you know, you hear butch. Oh my God, that's but one of those that manly That wasn't a bad word either. To who? But that's what I'm saying. Like... It's, you you got to understand where, where I'm coming from. It's based on perception, though. It's based on perception. Because I bet you, you can ask some but person. But I was introduced to those words from... From an actual... But th- when that's you what think I'm about saying. It, when you think about it, though, it depends on the context and how it's used. If you're saying, oh, she's butch, that's one thing. They say, that butch over there or something, it depends that's on the That's the same thing as bitch. That bitch over there, or yes, bitch. Come on, <laughs> exactly. come on. Exactly. It all depends. Exactly. Yeah, it all depends but on how it you're becomes, using it. But it comes down to categorization. But what I'm saying is the root, because you said nigga, nigga. It that comes came from, from slavery. Dyke. That came from uh, uh, you know, people dying, losing their lives, and being enslaved. Mm-hmm. Dyke. Where did the root? I don't know. Come from? Know where the root came from? You see, but but. All the forms in which I've heard it prior to the current day where people are owning it and using it was in a negative term. It was in a negative... It's like faggot. F- okay, faggot always yes, been a negative word. Exactly. But, but faggot is in reference to men. Dyke is in reference to the woman. Yeah. That's where it comes out. Now, I hear gay boys all the time and say, that faggot over there, bitch, da 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 and they own with it, and it's whatever. They're owning that word. Now that, I know I, that I get the owning of it. I know a lot of gay men also the same situation. You say faggot, whether you're a gay man or a straight man you or a straight asshole. person, they are not okay with it. Okay, so it's based on the circle. It's based on the person. Because, like I said, I personally I don't like to use the word. If you say dyke, I'm not gonna be like, oh my. God. Oh my God! Like Why cringe. would you do that? I'm not gonna. You know, what I'm saying I cringe on the inside, but I know that as a people, we're coming to own it, and it's becoming one of those things where it's yours, and you don't want to feel negative about it, so you're using it more, so it becomes a normal word. So at the end of the day, when Joe Schmo, that's heterosexual, calls you a dyke, you'd be like, "Yeah, your mama liked me too," and you can go on with your business. Yeah, but you're not addressing what I'm what I'm really trying to say. Mm-hmm. It's not about uh, a, a dyke or a butch or whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. taking it and owning it. Mm-hmm. The root of the word, because like I said, when but, I was, wait, hold on, when I was coming up, when I was growing up, I was introduced to those words from a dyke. So a dyke right? said dyke was okay when you were introduced to it? Right. That, she was calling other girls dykes, whatever the case was it, may be. That, that was, was the, the okay. quote unquote label. Now, hold on. Faggot, that always, always been a been bad. A bad a bad word. So I'm saying throughout the years, I feel like the the rules and certain things change. Mm-hmm. And then if 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 y'all changing the rules on the fly and we don't we don't know, we y'all can y'all can't get y'all mad at us for us. everything. Yeah, educate us. That's what I'm I trying to say. I understand that. Okay, so in that sense. Um, there's so many different labels. Remember the video we watched the other day where it's like there's a stud, there's a femme, there's a no label, there's this. There's different lab- levels to it, and it. It's not uniform in all communities, which is funny to me because I feel like the black LGBTQ community has like this level of ignorance within ourselves where I feel like we're still dependent upon what society thinks is okay. Mm -hmm. So certain things are taboo in a sense. Like, okay, there's a subject of stud for stud, right? Which is essentially two women of masculine center that represent themselves as men. They wear quote unquote boy clothes and you know what I'm saying they're in a relationship with each other and mm-hmm. that's it. Now, in a lesbian community, that shit happens all the time. Because at the end of the day you get naked, they're all women. True. Right? Mm-hmm. In the African American well, not even African in the black community, stuff for stud gets looked at like no, nah, that's gay. Duh, y'all are fucking lesbians. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I mean it's not for everybody, but at the same time it's like what a, um not to cut you off, but to add on to what I was trying to say about the, I don't want to keep, I don't want to keep saying I'm the word. I'm getting to it though. I'm getting thing, to it. No, no, no. I was going to add on to that. What's up? The girls that, okay. The girls that's attracted to the quote unquote dykes that dress like a man. Mm-hmm. 
you know, act like a man and everything. What is the science? What is the thought process behind that? Why not just date a guy? Because they like to eat pussy. <laughs> okay. But you can still eat pussy. In your in a monogamous relationship? Uh, okay. I guess. And that's your answer. <laughs> anything else? It, it's as simple as that, I guess. Okay. I guess, yeah. So, I just like the way she said it. <laughs> I mean, because at the end of the day, what's the difference? One has a vagina. Yeah. I mean, but you see, but You're look, but look. To... But no, but I asked, she answered. That's like now, my same question but, but, with the dildo stuff. But look, mm-hmm. to... I could be ignorant and keep asking her mm-hmm. extra stuff on top of that. But That's in fine, reality, though. but no, but in reality, she really did answer the question because my follow up um, um, would have been. So the girl, the girl that dresses or the quote unquote mm-hmm. dyke that dresses like a man, um, she enjoys being eaten out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The stimulation in your vagina does not go away because you like to dress a certain way. Now, we're not there- dressed, but I mean, like, because. For instance, some girls like to be dominant, and mm-hmm. some girls don't like to be, you know. Let me take y'all down a walk so. through memory lane. Oh, when God. I was a young little baby dyke, as we like to call it, she just a said a baby dyke. dyke. You see what you just said? It and but, don't say you own in the word. But listen, because, it's it's a joke, really, because that's what we call them, the baby dyke. That should be the, the name of the episode. <laughs> because it's one of those things where you know, coming out when you first start out, you first accept yourself, and you start because. I was quote unquote considered a baby dad because when I came out, I was listen. I had oversized clothes and fitted caps, and you know you couldn't tell me nothing. I was, what's up, ma? Like you, like that was me. Smooth talker. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. you know. And you would consider me a touch me not. Now we're gonna get to the labels like I was trying to get to earlier. We have. Like the thing we talked today, we have femmes, we have no labels. There's studs, doms, dyke, butch. It's a whole bunch of things. But at the end of the day, there are people that identify as masculine of center. Okay? So in that sense, they're more comfortable in looser fitting clothing. They're more comfortable in clothes that are quote unquote for boys. For men. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now... The term dyke can be used to identify all of them. However, feminine women, femmes, also use that label nowadays as, you know, just every lesbian in general. So they're all dykes. Just like the song by Uzi. They dyke in, they dyke in. It's it's talking about lesbians. Okay? Because if somebody says faggot, you think about a gay man, correct? That is true. If somebody says dyke, you think about a gay Gay woman. woman. Okay, so that's where it comes in. Now, when you come into play and you talk about the labels and, you know, if a woman wants to be touched and everything like that, like I said, there's touch-me-nots where they literally get pleasure just from pleasing you. Mm -hmm. They can come from just pleasing you, whether it's by a strap-on or it's by giving you oral sex. Because, hey, guys, you know that they have some strap-ons that have clitoris stimuli? Mm -hmm. I know that. Just in case no one knew. That happens. So you can strap a girl down Nothing all day long. Can't and you can't compare to the skin and the oh my feeling. Gosh. And this the is why touch. this is why women date women. This is why women like, date women because only men have these said, opinions. Thank you. What? Anyways, <laughs> like I was saying, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's a toy or skin, it's still stimulating your clit, and you're still gonna come. Because guess what? When you take the strap off, your bitch gonna suck that shit out, and it's going it's it's over. Wow. I'm sorry. Because visual. Because it happens though. True. After she come, take the strap off, suck that shit, and you. Everybody comes. We go to sleep. It was great. We cuddle. Oh, great name. We do it again Wonderful. tomorrow. Wonderful. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you can sit there and say whatever it is about what people want to use during sex, but it all comes down to preference. You can't identify everything under one category mm-hmm. because like i said same thing with just women in general some are okay with penetration some are okay with just stimulation and for the touch me nots just stimulation could literally be from the mouth just the feeling of a vagina and the fact that she's wet and the movements and everything else that could be enough because listen like i said when i was a young baby dyke like, I feel bad for the chick I was with at the time because she couldn't t- hmm. touch what? 
Don't touch me. Mama, you good. Like, I got you. When me. you come, I come. Like, that's it. Like, don't, don't touch you know what I'm saying? After I'm done eating it, don't we, touch we me. go, we cuddle, whatever, you know, that's it. It's a wrap. So, it's not necessarily that everyone has to go down and eat vagina now. The lesbians that say they don't eat vagina, that's a whole other story for a whole other time. That makes absolutely who's, no sense. Who's least uh, respected in the community? Like, I feel like buys. Yeah. Like, I feel like bisexuals yeah. would. Because they're not committed. No. To, no, no, no. To, to you know what it is? I feel like... Oh, I'm sorry. Term, I, I feel like dick dykes <clears throat> make it... You say dick dykes? Yes. Make it hard for bisexual women. That women that identify... Like, women that genuinely identify as bisexual, mm-hmm. I feel like they make it hard for them. Because there are women that... A dick dyke says they're a lesbian, but they be taking dick. You're bisexual. Just own it. Exactly. But nobody wants to be considered bisexual because, like you said, but they're not committed. They're doing they don't that know what they're doing. Secret, right? Yeah, but then you end up pregnant. It's not a secret anymore. Uh, Bitch, I thought you were saying. You see? But you see, now I get the visual mm-hmm. of what you're trying to say because I see that on, on, on Instagram before. Yeah. So those are the ones. Like that, the okay. video we were talking about the other day, it okay. said the stud that be around too many um niggas that they can't be around three niggas or more because then one of them end up fucking because I've seen that happen, which is strange. yeah. But I mean, my thing is own it. But like I said, in the community, it's mostly with black people. They're not okay with people being themselves. They feel like you have to put be identify, like, not everything. even put on a show, identify as something specific. It has to be either you're this. Or you're that. that. So, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's no gray area. So, it's like, you come out and say you're bisexual, "Mm, you be taking dick. At least I'm letting you know that I take dick. Because I eat pussy. Exactly. But then there's the ones, like I said, dick dykes. They are bisexual, but they don't want to claim bisexuality. They'll say they're lesbians all day long. They don't want the backlash? Exactly. They'll say they're lesbians all day long, and in secret, they're having sex with men. So, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of women out there who be like, oh, I'm a gold star lesbian. I've never had sex with a guy. Then... Two months later, you got a you you got a whole baby bump. You know what I'm saying? So, it's. (laughs) Did you go to the doctor to get in? For real, I mean, you want to talk about that? That happens too. But you know, you're not doing artificial insemination. So be real. Shit expensive. It is. So 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 bisexuals is the least respected. Yeah, my feelings are not hurt at all. They're not hurt. I mean, I own my shit, so I don't care. (laughs) I take dick and I eat vagina. (laughs) Hey, say that. (laughs) You're saying like it's it's it is what it is because at the end of the day, I can say that I know who I am and I'm comfortable with me. Fuck your thoughts, nigga. I think the the. Um, I don't. It's so touchy. I don't know how to say certain things. Just say it. um, We'll defend you if they come after you. I think who gets the trophy though. Is the transgender? Oh my god! That go through my the surgery. My producers obsessed with trans people. Okay, <laughs> all right. The ones that actually go through. We're and not do talking the surgery? about trans tonight, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> you gotta mention who, the bathrooms. That's who gets the. Oh, like, speaking of bathrooms. That's who gets the trophy. This no, no, no. no. Speaking of bathrooms, there is a ch- a gender neutral bathroom at the JMMB Bank in Jamaica, the uh, main headquarters. They made one. <sighs> I feel like in I'm a Jamaica. Cry. Yes. Jamaica Money Mutual. Look at his face. Look at his face. They have a gender neutral bathroom, bitch. Listen. Does it have? It does it have? Yes. No. It has. It has the um, the the symbol, the female and male, and it's like interlocked. Okay. I saw a picture of it. I was like, "You're so. We are coming so far. I am so proud of Jamaica. Like, they gave y'all a bathroom. Well, we have pride. Also, you want to talk about bathroom? We have a pride. We have community oh, organizations. Oh, we have a oh, shitload of safe things that to go down are. <laughs> and that's another thing we should stop doing. And I probably should do that within myself too. And 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 stop saying y'all. It's they us. Have... We're we're we're, 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 we're we're all one. Yeah, yeah we are one. all are it's one. It's us. Like I don't care. It's a human, human race. race. Anyways, go yeah, you know. But that's what I'm saying. It's. But you grew up that way, so it's not. Yeah, it's the some... ignorance. Like I that's said, true. Yeah. On the episode about anxiety it's and what, this, you're taught. what you call yeah, it, yeah. you can. You have to, yourself. as adults, when you grow up and you learn things, you have to unlearn other ignorances that uh-huh. you've been. You know, it's been ingrained in you. You taught from a young age that this looks different, this looks weird, it's bad, mm-hmm. and feeling this or whatever, it's bad. You have to unlearn some of these things because when common sense kicks in and actual knowledge kicks in. You realize that it's okay to be different. I mean, shit, Jesus was different. 
whoever that is, you know, so that's a whole nother subject. But, <laughs> you know, it's like I said, it's based on perception. It's based on what you like. As long as you're comfortable with yourself, like I keep saying, love yourself, be comfortable with yourself and just live your life. Like Fuck that's, everybody else. That that's <laughs> that's really all it comes down to. So that's yeah. how I live my life. OK, it is what it is. But um, we we running late. We got excited on this topic. Uh, <laughs> no, y'all 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 was talking foolishness in the beginning because y'all, y'all, no y'all was drunk. Just because and then, I, I and didn't then, drink anything. And then I came on. Okay, and gave first y'all of all, y'all let me tell you something. Like I came this on is a problem with men nowadays. <clears throat> I came on to give y'all some take sustenance. Always want to ownership or some shit. Mm. I came on to give y'all some sustenance. Go ahead. Excuse me. Actually, you piggybacked off of her question. Don't be a hater. Do me a favor. Do what you was doing before. Move the mic <laughs> and mind your business. <laughs> mind your business. Just mind your business. Just but hit that button. It's a good Michael. show. It's a good These show. are all valid questions, though. You know. So I mean, any questions you guys have or anything that you might want to learn, feel free to ask. Feel free to ask. I don't have the correct answer. I have the ignorant answer. <laughs> I mean, you guys can email me. Pointless questions. It's pointless with three S's. You have to emphasize on the less. Pointless and it's questions. not an actual That's point. Is the word at point. gmail.com. I like that. P O I N T L E S S S questions. Q U E S T I O N S. Don't be like me that just put the point just to piss her off. At gmail.com. If you have any questions, suggestions, anything of the sort, um, follow us on Facebook. Like us, Pointless Talks. Everything is Pointless Talks. Instagram, Twitter, Pointless Talks Podcast, Tumblr, all of that. So, um, (laughs) thank, oh no, not my personal Tumblr. Girl, no. No. Okay, never mind. Follow the Tumblr. Pointless Talks Tumblr. You made it to her Tumblr? I don't want to do that. She's heard heard stories. She's heard heard stories. I'm afraid to look at it. (laughs) Um, but, you know, just like every other week, whether you got here by fate or on purpose, thank you for tuning I'm in. Fake booties. And I hope you guys tune in next week live or, you know, if you listen to us on SoundCloud. It's going to be on Apple Tunes in two minutes. Don't worry. We might already be there. Thank you. Maybe. And we're out.